Good morning, friends. I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's a cold winter morning in London, and I'm headed into town right now to have myself a full English breakfast. Now, this is a classic that you must not miss when you come here, and I'm so excited because it is the cozy, hearty thing I need just right now. So as you guys know, I've been traveling Europe for the last year. Breakfast in Europe is pretty informal in most countries. It's usually a coffee and a pastry and you kind of go on your way. The bigger meals are for lunch and dinner. As an American, I love the whole idea of sitting down and having this wonderful big spread of breakfast items. Uh, the eggs, the toast, the bacon, the sausage. And the English breakfast you can find anywhere. I mean, it is as common as fish and chips. A lot of regions have their own kind of versions. There's a little place I want to take you guys here in the town that I'm staying in. It feels most cozy to me. No frills, informal. The people and the service are great. So you kind of find the place that you like and you stick with it, right? So that's where we're headed to now. just like to pour a little bit, just enough to make the tea opaque. Oh, that looks lovely. And I put a little bit of sugar in here. I feel like it brings out the flavor of the tea a little bit more. I think I'm ready to take the tea bag out. It's a really good amount of tea you get in there too. That's a full bag. So you get a nice strong tea. Smells so good. Yeah. That's so good. I don't like to drink it too fast because I like to pace it out with the breakfast when it gets here, but you definitely have to have a little introductory sip uh, while you wait for your food. Look at the size of this ketchup bottle. This is huge. Also, we got some HP sauce. I've tried it, it's kind of like a cross between some like malt vinegar and ketchup, it's good though. You've got mayo, this is usually what you find on the tables at the restaurants where you're having your English breakfast, as well as malt vinegar, I do see a lot of people put malt vinegar um, on, their, on their breakfast as well. That's the big breakfast! Wow. <laughs> Alright, here is the big breakfast. You really need a whole plate for this. Are you LB? Yes. Nice to meet you. Wow. I'm Brigitte. Nice, nice to meet you. <laughs> I just nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Enjoy. Thank you. Anything else, just let me know. Thank okay. You so much. <laughs> That's so cool. I didn't know that that was LB herself, who the cafe is named after. So, our big breakfast is here. Let me show you what's on this right now. So, you can see you've got the white toast on the outside, you have two soft fried up eggs. You have bacon, grilled tomato, mushrooms, black pudding, sausage, baked beans, and a hash brown. Now this bacon might look a little bit different and that's because it's actually kind of a cross between American and Canadian bacon. It's got the pork loin and some of that pork belly, streaky fatty bacon, the best of both worlds, and it's smoked and cured, so it's salty and smoky. Then you have the black pudding, blood sausage. It's uh, got a filler in it, normally like oatmeal and fat. And then it's set to cool after it's cooked and that's where it congeals and it becomes that black pudding. Then we've got sausage. This is pork sausage and it's seasoned with herbs and spices. Here in the UK, pork is a big thing. There are a lot of heritage breeds. So it's something that's really taken seriously here, which is probably why you have two types of pork on your plate here. So this bacon's probably my favorite. Oh, look at this egg. Let's go ahead and break this egg first. Look at that nice runny egg and the fluffy egg white all around. That looks lovely, it smells wonderful. 
Let me get some bacon, some egg, and a uh, little mushroom, some fried up mushrooms. Mm. Mm. So good. Mm -hmm. That runny egg coats the, the bacon. And you have the saltiness of the bacon to season the rest of the bite. And that meaty crunchiness of the mushrooms is just perfect on there. So the eggs don't have any salt on them. Bacon itself is salty enough to season your dish. Let's try this black pudding. This is something that I didn't actually have for, until the first time in Spain. And um, it's something I've continued to, to slowly acquire a taste for. It tastes nothing like what I expected. It's actually really good. It doesn't have a very high irony flavor. It tastes more like a, the fattiness, like up from bacon. Um, you definitely get that grain that's in there, which has got a nice chew to it. And the sausage part itself really just kind of disintegrates. It almost just, it's almost just like a seasoning in there. It's not a very heavy, chewy, crunchy situation. I really love the sausage here because they're seasoned so well. Let me show you the inside of that. So you have some nice, you can see the speckling of the herbs that go in there. And it's a very fine minced pork. Mm. Delicious. Mm. It's probably my favorite component of the English breakfast because there's so much flavor and it's got such a nice caramelized outside on the sausage. Crispy, but it's a thick enough uh, sausage that it's still juicy and you're chewing into it so it's not dry. And then last but not least, we've got the baked beans. These are made with, uh, typically with uh, small white navy beans. And they're um, usually Heinz uh, canned beans. <laughs> Pretty simple and straightforward. Not like our American baked beans. These are the sauce is a little thinner, a little bit more tart and tangy. And the beans are really cooked well though, so there's they're very soft. You can almost just mash them up right on your plate if you like to. But it is like the bacon, another nice kind of flavoring component in the dish because that carries the salt just like the bacon does. So you can kind of mix and match it throughout your plate. And I love how many components are in it because you can really switch around how you like to eat it. You can have some egg with bacon or some egg with sausage and black pudding. So it's all different kind of configurations and then you have the toast on the outside to make pretty much egg sandwiches, toast sandwiches if you like. Over medium egg in there. Oh, that's a great bite. And then you have your tea. Mm. So good. Perfect hearty thing you want to be eating in the morning. It's cold outside, it's been raining, and this is just perfect. We got some tea with milk. The milk gives a little bit more body, so it does feel a little bit more satiating than if it was just tea on its own. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, the tea is so fresh. I feel like because it's such a common thing that's drank here, they really keep the teas fresh. You really get those notes of that black tea. It's a little bit sweet. That was the breakfast I was hoping for and I was looking for when I got here. That was so delicious, cozy and hearty. And most of all, what really makes a place is the people and the service. I mean, you walk in and you're like family. They greet you by name. I got to actually 
know by name who LB is today. You have the regulars taking their time drinking tea and coffee. It's just such a good energy in there. I'm full, my stomach is satisfied, and I'm feeling great right now. Those eggs and that bacon, the sausage was delicious. I love that I'm getting a little bit more accustomed to the uh, black pudding uh, because I really think it's something to be appreciated here. They make it really good. The sausage is still my top notch favorite. That bacon with the streaky fat that's so tender and soft and then that pork loin portion that's just a perfect lean cut of pork in there. The runny eggs, the baked beans to add some of that tanginess and then a little bit of bread here and there for that buttery carb and then you got some of that hash brown in there as well for a little potatoiness. it's just perfect that's gonna wrap it up for us today you guys I'm gonna get inside because it's really starting to drop in temperature if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead leave a like subscribe to the channel for more food content and I'll see you guys very soon on the next one have a good one bye